All right, this is just going to be a, a quick video showcasing the, the what would you call it, quad quad shocks on the rear. Uh, some people won't like this because it's janky and, I don't know, not not super official, but I, uh, I think it looks cool. And it works pretty well. Um, I've had it out for three sessions so far. I don't know, maybe like three hours of driving. And it all seems to work just fine. Um, side angle there. You can still get max extension and you can still get full compression. These ones don't compress all the way because they're actually slightly longer than those uh, internally, but the, the travel is is good and the, it can get fully compressed and extended. I can't really do it with my hands, but it seems to work really good. Anyways, um, all I attached them to were these link arms and it's two, two forms of attachment. Underneath, if my camera will focus, is a zip tie. And the zip tie uh, goes around the link bar you can see the end there and the other end there. And then in between squeezed in there is a twist tie as well. So I've got a plastic zip tie and then a metal and plastic twist tie. Uh, and those go just in the, there's like a groove here. I, I've just put it in between the groove. It doesn't slide around. You do need these roll pins to kind of create that extra layer um, if the shaft is all one length it could slide around but this this has been working for me very well i didn't use springs on these because then you're adding double the spring pressure and it's just always at full when you have the springs four springs so four shocks two springs it seems to handle just fine there's really no benefit to this it uh, makes it a little heavier in the rear, but I think it just looks cool. And I wanted something different. So, oh yeah, and you just mount it in the frames. And this is just a brace I made because I moved this brace back. Uh, totally unnecessary, doesn't really, I guess it adds strength to the frame, but the frame is not weak. So I just thought it looked cool. And get some extra bracing in between the frame there. So yeah, quad shocks in the rear on your TRX4.